Hey, hey, Sammy Do coming to you live from Precious World Office Studios. Real estate mentor and coach and investor, founder of the Real Estate Wholesale Helpline. I want to talk to you today about prerequis prerequisites that are necessary uh, in order to be in the real estate investing business. If you uh, ever thought about getting into the real estate investing business or if you are in the business and still trying to get your first or second deal, uh, you definitely want to subscribe to this channel because we come to you from a grassroot standpoint, giving you the golden nuggets, the secret sauce that you're not getting anywhere else. And I want to talk to you about the two prerequisites uh, to be in this business. Sammy Do, live from Precious World Studios, doing it again, dropping another golden nugget. business isn't for everybody not everybody's cut out for this business so without these two requisites if you can't acquire these prerequisites this could be a money pit for you so this is why I want to give you the raw grassroots truth about how uh, what you would need in order to be successful in this business okay so we were talking about the two prerequisites that are necessary to uh, be successful in a real estate investing business and we already talked about one in a different video we talked about uh, the first one being a level of education in real estate investing and we also talked about that the the quickest and most our least inexpensive way to getting that education is to acquire a mentor of course this uh, channel provides mentoring and uh, if you want one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching and mentor you can uh, hit the link and set an appointment and we can kind of talk about that the second uh, skill set the, the link is the real estate wholesale helpline uh, in the description the second uh, prerequisite uh, that we talked about was a set of skill sets and the skill set that I want to talk about today in this video is a skill set of being detailed oriented being detailed oriented how uh, do you help to improve being detailed oriented in that skill set you got to have that skill set in this business because an and or a but in a contract can make a total difference in the, what that contract really means and not only just the contract but when you're looking at properties you want to be detailed oriented when you're having conversations uh, with folks you want to be skilled and specific in what you're talking about uh, when you're negotiating uh, you, you want to be detailed oriented and uh, so you know you can't be blase blase um, casual about doing this business so I want to kind of give you uh, a few points probably about eight different points uh, that I want to talk about that can help you to improve your skill set of being detailed oriented. This is going to help you to improve being detailed oriented. First point is you, you definitely want to organize yourself. And we did talk in a different video about the skill set of being organized. Um, you want to be organized because uh, things that are out of place uh, can matter and not only that it, it helps you can kind of stay focused with things that are out of place you know it's the obvious thing that sticks out usually is the exception or the opportunity or whatever issue that needs to be dealt with um, if you got a lot of chaos around you it's going to be very difficult to, to monitor and manage details uh, when you clean up your, your your situation and get it organized uh, then every you know every everything has a place every place has a home type of thing um, you know that that can help you with the training and the mindset of being detailed that's point number one making sure that things around you're making sense and that you're organized point number two is 
maybe having a list or a checklist uh, for the various tasking. So for instance, uh, when you're walking a property, right? You're not just walking casually, you know, dreaming whimsically about what the property can look like. Uh, I find a lot of rookies think, oh, that's a nice house and you can do all this. No, 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 no. It's, it's always all about the numbers. When you walk a property, you want to look at various areas and it's, it's really good to have a checklist. You know, you're looking at the roof and the bathroom and the electrical and the plumbing and the water heater and the HVAC system and you're, you're having a checklist that you're you're doing this walkthrough and whether it's okay or not okay working or not working um, checklist of what needs to be improved what don't need to be improved so you're not overspending um, checking the foundation uh, windows does every window is every window operable uh, things of that nature. You want to have a checklist. Even when you're doing a contract and if you're doing some creative things in your contract, you might even want to have a checklist that if you're doing this particular type of strategy, these are the check are the documents that you will want to go to, to make sure you're utilizing when you're doing this strategy. When you're doing this type of strategy, these are the documents you want to make sure that are part of this strategy. But having a checklist of some type, making a list and having a checklist for those components, for each component of the business can be helpful. Uh, heck, even having a checklist on taking an initial call from uh, a prospective seller. So that way uh, you're being consistent with the information you're going after when you're, you're speaking with pers a, per a particular prospect. So, uh, so that's number two. Number three, um, you want to make sure you limit distractions uh, when you're trying to work on a particular project, uh, especially while you're learning this business. Distractions are going to be all over the place, especially while you're new, um, because while you're new, you've probably been on Google and YouTube and you're searching for this and this. And guess what? Google and YouTube, they're, they're feeding you other items relative to what your search patterns has been. And those can easily get you distracted from the main thing. And if you're working with me and as your mentor, I always tell my students, let all this other stuff go. Let's accomplish the first mission first. I give you marching orders. Let's accomplish those first. And this helps you remove those distractions. Having a coach definitely helps you do that. But removing those distractions so you can execute and get things done to get your first or second deal or whatever we're working on. Uh, so you want to limit distractions, limit chasing after shiny objects, shiny objects, you know, the next best thing, the, the newest and greatest, uh, uh, this tool is going to make your job easier. This product's going to make your job easier. This is a great book over here. This is a great video course over here. Here's another course over here. Here's a great strategy over here. <laughs> That's, that that's the of is what I tell my students. You get stuck in the learning education loop, and you don't get anything done. You always think you don't know enough, and you're going after all this stuff. No, you want to stay focused and limit distractions. I kind of belabored that one a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna go to point number four. And point number four is definitely you want to make sure you you take some breaks. Sometimes you got to step back and decompress. Sometimes you got to step back and recreate a little bit i'm not saying overspend and if you don't have a business that's producing income you definitely can't afford to just go and spin 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 but you do sometimes might need to just kind of take a break uh, take a break go to the lake take a break go to the park take a break go play some golf or tennis or whatever but just the decompress because this is you know being an entrepreneur for one is a 24 7 uh job Frankly, it's a 24 seven. Most people work 40 hours a week. <laughs> Being an entrepreneur, we work a lot longer than that. So you got to step back and, and decompress. So that way you can remain alert and uh, 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 aware of various details that would matter in your tasking. Uh, number five, there are different uh, games that you can play to help you uh, exercise your mind because your brain is a muscle and just as you might work out your biceps and your 
and your abs and your 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 thighs and your butt and all that your brain is also a muscle that you would want to exercise so you definitely want to have some muscle memory type games whether you're doing some crossword puzzles or doing solitaire with the cards uh, you know the computer games or but games that kind of make you think or playing chess I love chess uh, but games that makes your muscle your, your your mind think and work so it can continue to stay um, uh, you know uh, uh, active and 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 growing uh, in fact I would also say not only playing games but just making sure you're 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 being nutritious as well with your body you know that uh, you're not you're, you're being sober minded you're not always getting drunk or high um, but you're taking nutrients that can help your brain be alert um, not necessarily talking about caffeine, but different things like vitamin B's and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and serotonin levels and things of that nature. Um, but these things also will help you to enhance your detailed orientation skills. Uh, number six I want to give you is when you're on task, be present. Don't, don't be on task and trying to work something else out and work something else out over here. You're taking a phone call for this and you're taking a phone call for this. If you walk in a property, walk the property. Leave the phone alone. If you're negotiating with a prospect, uh, every, nothing else matters while you're negotiating with that prospect. Uh, if you're trying to draw up a contract, close the door. <laughs> but, but be present. Don't be trying to so-called multitask because you know how to multitask. This is where details slip. This is where details slip. So you want to be present and, and remove those distractions and be fully engaged with whatever that task is because the details of that task would matter. Um, number seven I want to give you is to try to, um, what I would call, establish a routine. Uh, try to establish a routine of how you go about things. Uh, I know generally speaking, uh, for instance, um, I have a checklist, for instance, where I take a call and I have a checklist of questions and I've done it so many times now, I pretty much have it in my head, but I know all the different points of what information I need to collect when I'm taking a call. So I have a routine of when I'm asking questions. When I go visit a property, I have a routine for how I walk a property and how I'm taking pictures and what pictures I want to get. Um, I also have a routine for doing videos uh, and I have a routine for how I establish my routes. So that also helps you to improve and be detailed oriented because typically if you're having a routine and you're doing the same and you're having those same touch points, um, that way you're not missing anything because you're, you're working it through the routine. And the last point I would say is um, number eight will be make sure that you're not cutting corners. You want to make sure that you, you're doing quality work just because you've done it before and you, you, you just don't want to gloss over it. You want to make sure you're doing it the same way all the time and being consistent with details and, and making sure that the work is quality from your contracts, making sure that your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed and not the other way around, making sure that you've covered those, those blanks, whether you're, you're putting NA's in the blanks or, uh, you know, versus kind of leaving them blank or just not even having that clause in the contract. Um, you, you want to be quality about it. When you're going over and, and you're walking people's properties, you don't want to be playing with their stuff. Oh, that's a nice, you know, thingamajig. Uh, I was with one student. He was messing around with an old uh, pistol that one of the prospects had. I was like, man, this is not the time and place to be messing with people's stuff. And, and the guy and the prospect was welcoming it, but, you know, just because they're open, give me an opportunity to fumble with it. Not to mention it's a, it's a pistol. <laughs> uh, just because you got an opportunity to fumble with it doesn't mean that it's the right time and place to be dealing with that because it also reflects on your professionalism in their eyes. It also reflects on your competencies in their eyes as well. So you want to make sure you're being quality 
uh, as far as uh, uh, doing your task. And those are eight points and I wanted to give you fairly quick um, in a quick summary as to what you can do to help improve uh, your detailed orientation skills. Listen, this business is not for everybody. And so, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm covering a number of various prerequisites to getting in this business in a number of different videos. And uh, it's fine if it's not for you. Um, and, and if it is for you, then these are skill sets you definitely want to make sure you can develop if you don't have those already. Uh, listen, if you like this information, please subscribe to this channel, the Real Estate Wholesale Helpline. Um, you can see the uh, uh, link in the description where if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching and even want me to be a coach and mentor to you, you can set an appointment, 30-minute free uh, consult with me and we can kind of talk about your business and where you are and and we can kind of talk about that and then we can talk about what it would what I would require of you uh, to accept you as a student uh, being you know being ment mentored by me um, I do have students across the country and I only take in about a handful every month so once um, those those numbers are full I only take in maybe about four a month uh, so once those uh, are full, I don't take in any more because I'm still active in the business myself and have a business to run. So uh, I would encourage you to move quickly if you are interested and uh, we can talk about that. Uh, but listen, subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you think uh, uh, there's someone else that this might be able to help, I oftentimes have students that have buddies and friends that, that are also interested. Please share this video with them. Share the channel with them uh, because we are trying to come to you uh, from a grassroots standpoint for mentorship. The one thing that I see in this real estate investing business, and I was also a victim of this, is that there is a lack of mentoring, uh, uh, mentorship for folks in this business because it's really, really, really necessary to be successful. It'll save you a lot of money and it would also shorten your learning curve. So. Um, I appreciate you tuning in and until then I see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded. Hey, hey, Sammy, do the do -roo back at you. Hey, uh, are you smelling what I'm cooking? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? You like these golden nuggets that we are dropping at you? Well, if you do, please like the video that you just seen. Also, subscribe to this platform. You can do that by hitting the red uh, subscribe now button somewhere here or there. Uh, look for it. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, that would encourage me to continue to put out uh, more content like this. And uh, check out my library of other videos as well. Also, don't forget, if you need to set your appointment, the link is in the description. Real Estate Wholesale Helpline. And until then, I will see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded. God bless Sammy. Doom, doom, doom. Out.